result. What would Prudence do? Because Prudence bucked the system at the time. Tonight, an added, ta an added bonus, I should say, to our 20 towns in 20 days. We're visiting Wyndham County in eastern Connecticut and the town there of Canterbury. And as Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan discovered, one woman stands there made a difference everywhere. This story is not about a building or a museum. It's about one young teacher's actions that changed the world. I think that Prudence Crandall was the first person to support Black Lives Matter. If she had been around then, she may have called it something different. Prudence Crandall was born in Rhode Island and raised by Quaker parents in Canterbury. In 1831, she founded a private girls' academy on the town green. Initially, she taught the daughters of the town's wealthiest families. A year later, an African-American woman named Sarah Harris knocked on the door. Prudence admitted her, later transforming her boarding school into one for African-American girls. The town folk were outraged. Prudence bucked the system at the time. She went up against uh, society, and she made a very tough decision, and not an easy decision, and she paid the price for it. In August of 1833, Crandall was arrested, later convicted for violating the black law. She faced three trials for operating the school. The conviction was later overturned by a higher court. Today, the boarding school is a state museum, undergoing $1.3 million renovation. It will reopen in 2022. What happened here just in uh, local Canterbury, Connecticut, really impacted um, education throughout the nation. On October 1st, 1995, the Connecticut General Assembly named Crandall the state's heroine. She crossed gender, race, um, religious lines, all of that. Um, and really the, the reason for it, the initial was to provide an education to a young woman who was asking her for that. On September 9th, 1834, an angry mob broke the school's windows and school furniture. Afraid for her students, Prudence closed the school after just 18 months. But today, the bigger story still carries at the museum for future generations to learn. With the Mobile Newsroom in Canterbury, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.